Alright. Well, first off the bat, I'm trying to I'm trying to look at me, look at the camera with the camera flipped towards me. The LED kind of side camera flipped towards me. And for whatever reason, it's flipped upside down on my viewable screen. Anyway, I'm here making some oats. Ruby sleep. I was like, what better time to shoot this than now? So, in fact, when I, when, I, when I put this wherever, I might post it upside down just so you can see how ridiculous this is. But, hey, hold on, let me try to prop this up. Thank you for being here. If you're still here, because this is taking a long time to get going. Hopefully, hopefully you're having a good day. Not a bad day. You ever feel like that? Huh? You ever feel anxiety? Like I'm gonna put this on the internet, so. I'm nervous about what I'm saying. Yeah. No? Okay. Uh -huh. I try to use Ruby's top for her water. Is that better? I think so. Anywho, what's up, y'all? I'm here making some oatmeal for myself while Ruby is sleeping. And. What I'm thinking is, I should tap in. Can't see. Okay, it's a dish wrap. Tap in, check on everybody. See how everybody's doing. I know I surely have needed it. So shout out to everybody who's tapped in with me in the last like few years. It's been crazy. Um, but we are officially in one of the most unique times ever. I mean, it's never existed. This time's never existed. There's nothing to compare it to because it's never existed. Even if you try to compare something to something that happened historically. It just doesn't compare because it's different. Now is different. And now is nuts. It's really nuts. It's also like extremely beautiful. Like it, you know, it is almost like living in a movie. You ever, you ever be like, man, I'm in, am I in a movie? Am I in the Truman Show or something? Because I feel that way. I feel like I'm in the Truman Show with a lot that goes on but it seems like we kind of have this new English amongst us humans and that 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 language is the internet and it it's been again it's been like a movie in itself just to watch it all unfold I think okay like I said I'm, I'm just, just a heads up. I'm dealing with this like old B, old JVC camera that my fiance gave us, and I love these like old zooms. Anywho, we're in this age of the internet in the world that is fresh and unique, and there's this new language of speaking to people that is the the internet so you know um, 
here I am on the internet talking to you that's still here. You've been here. Listen, I told you I was cooking oatmeal. I haven't even talked about the oatmeal yet. I haven't told you why this this uh, air fryer is going. You don't know why you're here. It's crazy. Anywho, um, this age of the internet is crazy because it's all a game of of attention and uh, jolting. A lot, a lot of it is divisive, but also a lot of it is great and unifying. And I think, I think a lot of people safe haven because of how, you know, in in their terms, and in some ways my terms, how nuts the world can be. So pe some people turn to the internet for a space of, hey, I want to connect with someone. At the at the least, you know, this world is crazy. This world is nuts. But at the very least, I want to connect with someone who at least likes oatmeal as much as me, you know? It's me doing oatmeal with water. Sarah says there's no difference. I think there's a difference. I think there's a difference between water and milk. Um, but back on, back on topic there is this new way to communicate it's the internet people want to connect in these ways these like deep and intimate ways that they don't get to talk to about with their friends or their family or people that are very close to them so they turn to the internet for companionship in that way and, and, and in those ways it's beautiful I love that about it I think it's great so I think making this video is an attempt to I mean it's not an attempt to like I'm doing it I'm doing the video I already made a decision to flick the camera up while I'm making oatmeal and do this thing but uh, I think I think it's best for me to join the conversation because of to be honest, it's just what the what the what the people closest to me and like people I really admire and love how much they love me and the things that they say about me and how I impact them or have impacted them. It's like inspiring for me to hear. You know, I like to hear those things and I like having a positive impact on on folks lives you know what I mean like if I can leave you if I can leave an experience with you and you're like you know what I like that dude that's like a general thumbs up for me let me see just switch up the scene um but that's one of the reasons two a few years back 2017 to be specific we started this idea party community that is make sure you have fun and it has been easily the most rewarding experience in my life like I, I remember back in in uh, 2016 whenever I left my job at Citizens Bank oh, my, oat, my oatmeal is almost done and thank you if you're still if you're still here like I imagine this is on this this I imagine I'll put, I may put this on on YouTube, but I also imagine I may end up slicing at least a good bit, if not all of it, for Instagram, which if you're still on it, shout out to you, real one. Shout out to you, straight up. You're the person I'm talking to. Like, if you're still here, the exact person I'm talking to is that, is that either you have a long attention span you're a big fan of me you're a big fan of make sure you have fun or something i've been involved in 
or you met me once, you know, if you're still here, shout out to you. And if you're new, you know, it's kind of the time that I'm on. I like to speak. I like to wear vomit. I like to learn things. I like to learn about people. That's the cool thing about make sure you have fun is I got to meet so many folks in like production and you know artists, DJs, uh, festival throwers, you know, like I've gotten to engage with and meet and be a part of some really cool things. So, for me, what I don't want to happen, and I've said this to myself a few times, but saying it here, what I don't want to happen is I don't want, I don't want me to not use every avenue to let people know either what I do, what I want to do, what I'm involved in, and let it not be as amazing as I know it could be. And that it already has been. You know, I could see if, if this video was coming in a space where nothing that that I've been involved in has been successful or or been impactful in some real way because you can't say that I know you can't say that I look you in the eye and tell you that you can't say that let me finish my oatmeal I just wanted to record this it's going to take a little bit to get to you because I have to stop this recording eat my oatmeal finish planning for this this fifth year anniversary that's happening uh, first event is tomorrow if you're in New Haven Connecticut or around the first event is tomorrow and if you wanna if you want to continue to hear about what we do from year five to however long we're blessed to continue to produce events and connect folks and be a part of the conversation of, of live music and live entertainment, then let's rock out. You know? The time is now. The time is now. I forgot you, I didn't even see the oatmeal. You gotta see the oatmeal get constructed. So I got my, I got my uh, candy, no, not candy walnuts. Trader Joe's got the candy walnuts. These are just regular roasted, roasted walnuts. Or toasted walnuts, hold on. Just organic walnuts not toasted next I got some dry cranberries to be honest I probably I probably should have put these uh these cranberries on last anywho So for closure's sake, that's a uh, Ruby's chicken and and the uh, 
in the air fryer. Sorry, I was trying to focus on peeling this banana. It's a very delicate art not to get the strings, you know what I mean? satisfying than that. Oh no, I still got some string on there. Okay. I'm pretty string free now. And the key is here how thin you slice the bananas. Is dependent on what your preference is. As far as um, like how much banana you want in your mouth, like how much banana you want to chew on, like how much, how much, it just really just depends on how much banana you can fit in your mouth each time you take a bite of this oatmeal. You know what I mean? But for me, I like a decent sized banana, so. Just uh, go ahead and get those going. I mean, yeah, I can enjoy this. Like, I guess I can talk about cooking pretty pretty easily. I don't think, honestly, this is what I think. Sometimes you just gotta eat those last bits of banana. They don't really fit the aesthetic of the, of the dish, but they're still good banana. It'd be funny, because technically I'm recording this on an old camera. But it'd be, it'd be funny to use some of these uh, these sounds from when I'm making. Some, see, you see what I'm. Hold on. It'd be fun to use some of these sounds from from this video for uh, random other things. I don't know. Anyway, the dried cranberries are supposed to go on top. The walnuts are supposed to go on top. I had, you know, I was like, I record that long video. I had every intention on presenting to you like this amazingly perfect oatmeal, but let this be a lesson to you. Sometimes you got the best presented plate. Sometimes you have the best presented circumstance and best laid intentions, and you still sometimes get smear on your plate. But you still got to eat it. You still got to get all that 